Hey, this is Anthony with bsidestudios.com, a web design firm based out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a blog out of the module Views in Drupal. You can grab this module by heading over to drupal.org forward slash project forward slash views. Once you've downloaded the correct version for your installation of Drupal, be sure to open up your web server via FTP and drop it off in your sites slash all slash modules folder. Head over to your admin dashboard and underneath site building, go ahead and click modules. Go ahead and scroll down and activate views. Once that's done, click save configuration. Head back to the dashboard and underneath site building, you'll see views, go ahead and click that. And as you can see, next to the views title, there's a couple tabs named list, add, import, and tools. We're going to go ahead and add one. Let's start off by naming our view. Let's give it a name of blog test. You can go ahead and give it a description if you'd like. For the view type, we're going to check node and then hit next. Now in here we can finally edit our view, or better yet our blog. To the left of our content you can see a drop down with the default option page. Go ahead and click add display. You'll notice that you got a new tab down here named page settings. This is where we're going to set our path. For the sake of tutorial we'll name it blog test. Go ahead and update that. With a path set, we're finally going to start building the blog. Start off by going to the right side of your content, and on Filters, click the little plus symbol. Underneath Groups, go ahead and find Node, select it, and go ahead and check Node Type. In here, you'll see Operator and node type. We're going to check is one of and blog entry. Go ahead and click update default display. Now we're going to start adding the fields. This is where we're going to add the content that is displayed in conjunction with our blog entry. There's a multitude of options here so let's start off with a few basics. Go ahead and change the Groups drop-down to Node. In here you'll see things such as the title of the blog, the date, and who posted the blog. Let's go ahead and activate Teaser. Title. And Post Date. After that's been done, you're going to need to configure each field node. Personally, I don't like when something has a label, so I usually just remove them. Here you can set the date format. We'll choose this one. Update. And it brings us to our next. Just going to go ahead and remove the title. Click Update. And do the same for this one. As you can see in our live preview, it's not exactly the way we want it. So in order to rearrange it, we're going to go ahead and click this button here, which is for the rearrange. Usually the title's on the top with the data in the center and the date on top as well. So let's keep it at that and click update. Now be sure to click save as soon as you're done with all this. So let's go ahead over to the path that we added. Since we named it blog site, it should look like yoursite.com forward slash blog test. Looks good. Now all this page needs is a little CSS love and it should look exactly like you want it. 
Now, if you're questioning why you would build a blog out of views rather than using the default blog module provided by Drupal, then the answer is pretty simple. For one, the default blog module is outdated and it is simply missing a lot of features it should have. Using views instead makes your blog much more flexible and you can build it in a way more advanced than that of the dinky blog module. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at team at bsidestudios.com. Thanks.